presentation, I'm going to talk about how cloud computing affects content areas. In this particular case, we're going to look at the science curriculum. I also want to focus on the flipped classroom and how cloud computing plays a role with the flipped classroom. We'll talk about one of e, the e-learning softwares, which in this case would be Moodle. The flipped classroom is a newer concept in which you would switch what normally would happen into in a classroom. For example, in a traditional classroom, you have the lecture and the students listening and taking notes. Then, at home, the students would do their homework and reinforcement work. With the flipped classroom, they're doing the opposite. What they're doing is going online and watching videos or going to a website or watching a clip and doing that from the comfort of their home. They should be listening to the lecture, they could be taking notes, they could pause it, they could rewind it, they could listen to it over again at home. Basically it goes at the student's pace. Then when they come into classroom, the teacher's there to help reinforce the concept, to help the students understand what was happening, if they have any questions, the teacher would be able to assist them. Also, it gives an opportunity for students to collaborate with each other in the classroom. It gives them more interaction and more time to do these activities. Now, how does that apply? The way you could do this is through cloud computing. In science, we have chemistry, earth science, physics, and biology. On top of all that, you have equipment, you have materials, everything that you need for a lab experiment. With cloud computing, you don't have to store all of these things in your classroom. What you can do is you could take the lectures and demonstrations and visual aids that you would normally use and put them into the cloud. It doesn't have to worry, you don't have to worry about the students being able to access it because it is free. They can access it from anywhere. And the school doesn't have to worry about their network being um, too filled up with all of this information with videos and websites and PowerPoints. One way that you can do this is through Moodle. Moodle is a modular object oriented dynamic learning environment. And basically what this allows you to do, it allows the teacher to be able to upload videos and chats and emails and papers and anything that you would want to do in your classroom and have students use. Then what you would do is have the students look at the material, read it, understand it at home, come in school the next day to reinforce it and for the student to be able to work collaboratively with the group. So Moodle allows you to upload all this stuff. It's free. The students can access it from anywhere that they want. They can access it from their phone. They can access it from their iPad. They can go to the library, obviously a laptop or a computer at home. What this is basically doing is setting up a nice circle of where things are going. You're starting off with what? This is the online chats, this is the audio lectures. These are the things that you would do to start off the children get, getting the information. Then, when they come in class, you're going to do experiments, you're going to do projects, there's going to be collaboration and work. From there, they're going to create personalized projects. They're going to use presentations, all of this through the help of technology, using different technology to get across the information that they gather. And then in the end, how they're going to present it, whether it's going to be a reflective video, um, blogging, so on and so forth. And that brings it full circle of the learning experience. So this is how cloud computing could be used in a content area such as science.